an ancient tool thousands of years ahead of its time, predicting the planets, the stars, and the forces that shape them, a computer before electricity. How could we ever explain this amazing device, the Antikythera? Let's start with its discovery. Imagine this. It's another afternoon collecting sea sponges on the ocean floor off the coast of Greece. You've seen a few pretty stones in your time, but the wonder of the ocean has mostly washed over you by now. Then one day, you see a wooden case about a foot long. Peeking out of its worn side is a rusted machine that shows confusing signs of both sophistication and antiquity. That's what happened in 1900 when the Antikythera shipwreck was discovered. It didn't take long for the Hellenic Royal Navy to come in and start gathering the archaeological treasures discovered. Jewelry and marble statues would be enough to please any museum owner, but nothing in the hall could compare to what would go on to be named the Antikythera mechanism. So surprising is this technology that it was almost discarded initially, and it sat in wait for 50 years before a British science historian pointed out that the find was unlike anything we've ever seen before. What had been found in the wreckage was the earliest analog computer known to man. The gears visible in the deformed remains weren't part of any old clock, but part of a mechanism used for predicting stars, planets, and the moon. Leonardo da Vinci's use of hydraulics and pneumatics for his flying machines were praised in the 1480s, but here was an item using these technologies dating all the way back to the second century BC. Nothing has ever been found from this era that compares to the sophistication of the Antikythera. Using weights and counters to input days and months, people made predictions about the movement of stars, planets, and the moon. But the Antikythera took this technique to a whole new level, designed to make predictions decades into the future. Why would the ancient Greeks have worked so hard on a tool to do this? Space travel was still a dream and most sea voyages around the Mediterranean allow sailors to stay near the coast. Some speculate that it was used as an educational device, but even those at the top of the ancient Greek academia would have had little use for information this vast about a part of the universe otherwise so distant for them. Two possibilities help us make sense of the Antikythera's complexity and ambition. Firstly, its use in divination may have helped Greeks combine their scientific and spiritual beliefs. Making predictions about the sky's movement didn't just provide them with purposeless data, but also helped them reinterpret the mystical forces that they believe shaped their world. The second possibility is that we don't fully understand the complexity and advancement of certain societies during antiquity. We've looked at inexplicably advanced designs on this channel before, and often the answers point to lost technologies, religious events, and a reshaping of how we view history. If they could make such vast, accurate predictions about the stars when telescopes were still so far away, what else were they capable of? Atlantis was supposedly not far from Greece, so to find this advanced technology off the country's coast could just be another part of this fascinating puzzle. Where do you think the Antikythera came from? If people did have this technology in such early times, what other technological treasures do you think lie in wait around the world? Let us know what you think it was used for in the comments, and hit subscribe to catch more great vids from Inquisitive Minds soon.